A crowd full of faces, each with their own story of heartbreak and survival. Lorraine and Tom Lucas know the tale too well. But somebody came in in the middle of the day and shot and killed execution style all four employees. One of those employees was Lorraine's 29 year old son, Brian. He was working at Superbike Motorsport in Chesney the day he was killed. It's hard to believe that somebody didn't see anything because I've been out there at all times of the day and night and just watching and traffic goes by. Somebody goes by each and every 30 seconds. It happened in November 2003. Brian's murder, one of the first quadruple homicides in the state. Nine years later, these parents are still looking for answers. Being our case is unsolved and we lost our son who was 29 years old at the time and a, and a father and family man. Uh, you never get over it. Every day is a challenge. You try to make it through a day at a time. Tom Lucas is a member of the Victim Services Coordinating Council, helping others get those answers. He also started the state's Unsolved Homicide Playing Card Program, and each deck of cards representing unsolved murders, missing people, and fugitives. So far, eight cases have been solved, but the Lucases are still waiting to be dealt some peace of mind. We, we miss him from our life. We love him dearly. Um, he's still present in our life at all times. And so is the desire to help others who have experienced the same kind of loss. In Columbia, Katie McKee, Watch Fox News.